Mr. Ed here. Today is November 30th, 2019, and a lot of you are going to recognize this place that I'm standing right here, simply because two years ago, almost to the date, because it was mid-November of 2017, I came to this location and removed bees from upstairs between the floor joists, and that video, which was titled, Look at What Was Under Her Bed, has seen, been seen by over almost 9.5 million people. Yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of people have seen this location that I'm standing at right now. But today, the bees are now located in, in a different section of floor space. I'm gonna have to cut the floor open and, and, and pick them up. But it, it should be still a pretty straightforward job. Because I've removed bees not once, not twice, but three times from this spot already, I came and checked on this spot, on this, on, on this location in May, in early May. I had something to do across the lake because we are across the lake right now. The Lake Pontchartrain train separates from the North Shore, from the South Shore, from New Orleans and Mandeville in the Dita Springs area, which is where I'm from. And I came across the lake to do, I had a, I had a, a, a function to go to. And I said, well, since I'm right here, I'm going to swing by the house, swing by Nikki's, and see if any bees are in, in the house, because it's right in swarm season. And I came by and looked at the location, and no bees. I said, oh, great, we're going to, we're going to get by without doing another removal. Two weeks later, he called me, Jeff, the bees moved in. So this is the fourth time I've been out to this location. So the last time I told Nikki, I said, Nikki, who's the homeowner, I said, Nikki, why don't you just go ahead and caulk that area? You, you know how we how it's supposed to be done. Why don't you do that? And he said, well, Jeff, you know, if I caulk that area, then the bees are going to find some other place to come into the house. And they've already come here. We've already opened it up already. But it's easy to get. So I just soon let them come right here and come, call you up and have you come over. So, yeah, that's what I'm like at Nikki's beck and call to get these bees out of here. And Nikki was a seminarian about 50 years ago, so he has an, a, a connection with the Abbey. So it's one of the reasons, another reason why I come do this, because I usually won't cross that lake to come do removal. It's too far for me, but for Nikki, I, I'll do it. So we're gonna go ahead upstairs. I gotta cut the floor open. I'll show you on the floor where the, where the bees are in the floor. And we'll go ahead and, and cut the floor and expose the bees, pull them out and start vacuuming. And I got today with me, I got my, one of my oldest friends with me, Jim Laborde. Jim and I have been, knowing each other for almost 33, 34 years. He and I worked together for 25 years at the post office. And in all these years, he and I did a tremendous amount of fishing together. In fact, before I was a bee wrangler, I was a fish wrangler. And, I, and between him and I, we've caught thousands and thousands of fish. But not as many bees as, as I've caught on my own. But Jim is probably like the best fisherman that I know. <laughs> he, he can catch a fish. I always say he could catch a fish in a toilet. That guy is so good. But anyway, he's upstairs, and uh, Nikki's upstairs. I'm going to grab this camera, and we're going to go upstairs. And by the grace of God, we'll get these bees out of here in a couple hours and have them moved up into the alley. Let's wrangle. Well, here we are upstairs. Nikki's got the, the floor all ready for us. And if you can see in this section of the floor, this is where I've taken bees out at one time, and in this section of the floor right here, I've taken them out two times, and then now our bees are now in this section. I've already put my line, I've already put my line right here from where my stud is, where I'm gonna cut, but I'm gonna show you where the bees are. Look at this, boy, these guys, this, this is a fair sized glow on this. And the bees run from the edge of the wall right here, all the way to about right here. It's um, it's pretty large. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wreck it. Ralph isn't here with me today, so I'm gonna have to do the destruction, and I'll just cut that floorboard out, screw some handles on it, and try to lift it up. Yeah, the ro rooster would be here. Would be a good one for that. He could clean jerk that that thing out of the floor for me, and he wouldn't have any problem doing that. All right, let's cut out some floorboard. <laughs> Well, here goes nothing. Huh? We're going to see uh, if we can get this hive up in one piece. Let's see what we're looking at.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these couple of pieces of honeycomb right here. I mean, it is solid honey. All those combs are solid honey. But there's a really big cluster of bees right here. And I'm going to go through, through that right now. And as I move these combs and see if our queen's in there. Because if she's not in here, I'm certain then she's going to be over there. Alright, let's pull out some of this comb. Beautiful, beautiful looking stuff, huh? Wow, we. Dripping out here. Yeah, that's why I got the rubber gloves on. Look at that. Fiberglass doesn't matter. This, all this comb is going to be fed to the bees. They'll clean all that stuff up. But I don't like no hot beetles. <clears throat> Look at all that cone, huh? Nice. So I've taken off all the little piece of the comb that fell. Like I said, that fiberglass that's on the, the comb, it doesn't matter. The bees will clean that stuff up. Since we're not taking any of this honey for ourselves, giving it all back to the bees, they'll clean it up. I didn't see the queen in that mess of bees. So I'm figuring she's still on the, on the comb sitting on the sawhorses. This is the brood section of the comb because you can see all the dark sections. And at this time of year, our queen starts shutting down, and as you can just see, just a couple pieces of really old brood in there. And you see what else is right there? Look at that. You know what that is? That's a lesser wax moth. So I'm going to kill that little thing. Let's stick this in the ice chest, and then we're going to move over to the main section of the cone sitting on the soul horses. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing this part of the honeycomb right here and I'll start vacuuming the bees as well and I'm pretty sure our queen will find her up in this mess right here. See a cluster right down here. She might even be down here. Like, let me look down here first. honeycomb off of there and now we're just into the brood section and you can see there's virtually no brood in here and that's why I still think I'm pretty confident that the queen is still here because she's going to be on that around that brood area. So we have four more pieces of comb to cut off of here 
and uh, hopefully we'll find our queen while we're doing that. Queen, right here, right there. Hot dog, what a blessing that is. I'm gonna go ahead and grab her, put her in the cage where I know she'll be safe. trying to get this on camera and it's not easy to, to catch her. <laughs> that girl is quick, huh? She's on the other side right now. I think I can get her on that side and be an easier catch. I lost her. There she is. All right, let's just go ahead and scoop her up. <laughs> She's a runner. Out of that time. Yes, indeed. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. Got our queen. Let's go ahead and finish vacuum up these bees. So I got all the comb out of the floor space 
it's all off of the piece of plywood that was above that. So all we have left to do is vacuum up our bees. I sat our queen right on the windowsill right here just to draw the bees down to her. And we'll vacuum all these bees up as well as those bees over there. Stuff tastes like honey. <laughs> What's it taste like? It tastes like honey. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> well, everything's done. Still got some more bees to vacuum up. I want to show you our vacuum bees in this box. And I'm not saying it's a whole lot, but I mean, we're definitely five to 8,000 bees, a couple pounds of bees in there. And I want to show you all the comb that we got. This is mostly all the, the brood comb, but there's pollen in there. Uh, there's a little bit of brood, but this, this is what my, I'll be framing a lot of this up, probably about three frames of this. About seven frames of this because um, they'll be needing all this stuff. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Well, that ought about do it for this one. It uh, was a basically a straightforward, easy job. Really didn't want to cut out another section of the floor, but that's the way it is. And Nick, he's okay with it. He said, let's keep on doing it this way, so that's the way we'll do it. So I'm going to use the Everything BVAC. And since I've already got the other one torn down, and we're going to go ahead and finish vacuum up all the bees in this room, head back up to the Abbey. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out of here until the next video. So I'm back up at the Abbey now, framing up the, the comb. I'm ready to set the bees loose, but as I'm making that <laughs> that trip across that lake, I um, I remembered I wanted to, to mention something that that I forgot to do, and that that is that on the next Friday, which I think is the sixth of December, I'll be up at the Louisiana Beekeepers Association convention in. Pineville, along with the Dirt Rooster and Shall We, they'll be there there too, and we're gonna we're gonna have a, a little question and answer seminar on Saturday. But the really important thing that I want to make mention of is that at that little question and answer thing, right now we've got it planned that we will be making the big announcement as to who won the Swarm Catch Challenge. You know, I'd love to be able to, to blab it out right now because, you know, it just makes me feel good. But I can't. That's not a hint, though. OK, that's not a hint. But at the convention on Saturday at our little question and answer thing, we're going to announce the winner of that competition. So for those that you all can make it up there. In fact, I'm going to post this video next Friday which is uh, Friday would be, I think, is the 6th, and Saturday we'll be talking, which is the 7th. Um, I'm going to post this video next Friday so that all those people that live real close here in Louisiana, if on Saturday you want to head up to Pineville and get in on a little Q&A with the rooster, shall we, and me, love to see you up there. And right, let me get back to finishing up this thing, because these bees, I don't know if y'all can hear them, but they, they are ready to go back outside.